So, we are back for the final of the XDL against Addy. So, if you didn't see in my team builder, this is actually a win-win situation for me. If I win, awesome, I'm the champion. If I lose, I was actually in Addy's front office at the start of the season before I had to take over um, from Poker Alex. So, if Addy wins, I'm still content. Like, reaching the final, awesome. Winning would be great, but I'm perfectly happy with how this season has gone regardless. So let's just have a good final. Right. No Bulu, fair. Uh, what else? No Magnum Water, that frees up Kartana a bit. This is reasonably what I expected. So is it still, still Weavile Togepi? I'm gonna bring Kartana. Now they got both ground types. I do have the Shukra on Zerk Tree, but they've got both, both ground types. Marowak. Marowak is not great. I don't think I'm bringing Marowak to this match. Dragonite. Probably not. I'm going to go with my lead. I'm going to bring Kartana and Zerkatry. We've all Togepi is the new meta, so of course I'm going to lead it. No Jinx, no Poltergeist, no Bulu, no Bang Mortar, something else. Alright. Yes, we've all got a sweet game one. Let us find out. So they lead Thunderous Togekiss, I'm going to Hailstorm and Yawn. And then if I lose Weavile, all, then Thunderous is going to sleep. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure this is what I wanted to see. Um, follow me low kick into the stack attacker. How does that go wrong? I don't think that goes wrong unless they dynamax the stack attacker. If they do that, that is incredibly awkward because low kick does not do anything. But I'm going to low kick and I'm going to follow me. I don't want to risk the attack into the Weavile if I'm not Dynamaxing. If I was Dynamaxing, I think I would have yawned the Urshifu, but... Oh well. Don't be Chopper, please. Don't be Chopper for my Zapdos that didn't come. Alright, no max. So look, it does work. There is the Choice Scar. Okay. This worked out very well if they are not Sash or Chopper. Show me neither, please. It's got to be a ground type in the back. There's Thunderous. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No Chopple. Oh, there is a Chopple. Oh, no. Um, okay. Hmm. Not ideal. Just rock slide. That's fair. Hmm, that didn't go very well, did it? However, I think Zerkatru is my new Dynamax Pokemon. Chopple was annoying. I didn't even bring that boss. God damn it. Right. My sub. My Togepi should survive whatever the Thunderous story is, isn't it? I lock myself out of yawning something like the Urshifu, but I can still yawn the Thunderous. Don't know if it was worth maxing on turn one, because there's no trick room. I lost Weavile, turn one. <laughs> that was my main Maxmon. 
Right, they are maxing, so... Theoretically, Togepi is going to survive whatever is thrown at it. Even Life Orb is probably a roll at this point. And then I can... get it to sleep the next turn. I would have lived. Actually, is it a bad thing? Because I would have lived. There's the airstream. We're living. Togepi's a bulky boy. Stack attack is not surviving. And Thunderous is being yawned. So this is okay. Like, my plan is completely changed. But it's okay. Unless they're Lum. There's no reason for them to be Lum. We've got Beast Boost with Zerkatry. I know the Urshifu is Scarf, so if they go into that, then I can just KO them. And I will go for an Overgrowth, because there's a potential Grass-type in the back. I'm hoping it's Mamoswine instead of Nido King. Because then... Right, overgrowth is still going to do a huge amount, actually, to be fair. With my Chakra, I'm feeling okay. Okay, it's Mamoswine. Okay. Yeah, with my Chakra, I'm feeling okay. So I'm going to overgrowth it. And then with Togepi, should have made a note of how much they did with the airstream, but they're surely just going to airstream the, the Togepi. Um, Helping Hand doesn't achieve anything. Mamoswine goes down. Urshifu switching goes down. Doesn't really matter. So I might as well follow me, because Protect doesn't help me. I might as well just not let Zerk Tree take an airstream, right? Although the airstream is going to be negligible, isn't it? So, on the off chance, Togepi does survive Protect. And if they attack into the Togepi anyway, with the Thunderous, I was going down, so should be okay. And I did survive! That is amazing! Because Shuckerberry, there's no chance they KO. Max defense was the play. Nice and Shuckerberry, thank you very much. If they are Sash, a bit awkward, but not the worst. Guys, nice, Sash, okay. And what's the best way around doing it? Because that slot is dead when I overgrowth it. I don't think high horsepower KOs me. But Togepi is useless otherwise, right? There's no Lumberry. That would be silly. I think I prefer not getting a KO here, right? Not giving the Earth through the switch in. So I can get double KO the next turn, right? Assuming the Thunderous would stay asleep. Because Zerkatry is not surviving. Oh, I might survive a Surging Strikes on there. But I'm not max defense. I'm going for the Lightning into the Thunderous. Lose the Togepi, get the Kartana in. And if Thunderous stays asleep, then... No, that doesn't actually work, does it? Because I'll lose the Togepi, and then they'll be able to high horsepower me without... Yeah, that didn't work. No, it needs to be the Mammoth Swain there. That was the wrong way around. Because now I need to protect the Zergatry from the high horsepower. Unless this KOs the Thunderous, I don't think it will, because it should be a soft vest. Which it is. Um, did I get that the wrong way around? I might have done. I think I did, actually, because then, um, yeah, because now they get to high horsepower the Zerk Tree, and I would need to protect on my Zerk Tree. Yeah, that was the wrong way around, wasn't it? It's 
probably better to just Thunderbolt stack attack it. It would have probably been KO'd at that point. Do they protect the protect and protect the mammoth swine? Expecting the wake up. Or expecting my protect. I think I still protect. I don't like it. If they protect the mammoth swine, they're probably gonna win because they'll wake up with their thunderous. Yeah. Oh, that was that was that was that was the time to sub. Because they air strings, so they're faster than my katana. Yeah, good play, good play. And they woke up anyway, so it didn't really matter. So now there's no way out because they just superpower and it's high horsepower dodge. But now, yeah, there's no way out of this. So if I'd have overgrowth instead, they woke up regardless. But then Leaf Blade and Thunderbolt should KO the Urshifu, and then whatever is left KOs the Thunderous, theoretically. At least I don't show my Sash, which is quite nice. That was a pretty weak superpower. Um, yeah, it needs to be sub. At least I don't show the sub. Um, look, there is no way out of this. I don't want to show the... Yeah, I don't show the Protect on my um, Kartana because then they could still think I'm Assault Vest. But it's always just superpower, it's always high horsepower. So I got that, yeah. I should have KO'd the Mammoth Swine. For sure. Like, for sure I should have done. Yeah, Ice Cream Square can't miss, so that makes sense. Uh, is Dragonite worth? Somewhat. It's annoying that I'm superpower. I changed from Earthquake to superpower, so I can't even max Quake KO the Stack Attacker. Because if I had Earthquake, Dragonite would be an amazing lead into both Stack Attacker and um, Urshifu. I should have should have just subbed on that Protect. That would have been a ball of play. That was exactly what the sub was for. I didn't capitalize. So... Do I leave Togepi in the back? Do I just max the Weavile immediately? Because I'll li live a rock slide. Do I leave with Kartana instead? No, that doesn't work, then they just close combat turn one. Um. Based on that damage, I don't think I would have lived the... I would have been pretty close if the actually would have survived. And I've actually got a tick of overgrowth, so maybe it would have done. So yeah, I definitely got it, got the wrong targeting there. If I'd have hit the Mammoth Swine, that was much better. But targeting the Thunderous was, like, objectively and clearly wrong. So, that was on me. Overgrowth into Mammoth Swine could have potentially... Well, they did get the first turn wake. If they would have stayed asleep and I'd have hit the Mammoth Swine, that would have been a win. But they did get the first turn wake, so it would still been a game. So, but a game I could win. Like, I don't think I could win when I Thunderbolt, not Thunderbolt, it Lightning's the Thunderous, so. But I've done done well in screwing up these games once and then winning the next two, so let's see how that goes. So annoying that they're Choppleberry on the stack attacker. Like, Zapdos is not here. Marowak could beat it, to be fair. Um... Could be a Toby P. Zerk tree lead. And then I could just go for a Helping Hand Thunderbolt instead. That could be okay. But then I have to risk the switch into the Mammoth Swine. But then do they switch in when I could Energy Ball Overgrowth the Urshifu? Um... I could leave Weavile Zerk tree and then just switch out Weavile if they still leave the Urshifu into Togepi. I think I still want Togepi. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna do that. These four were still fine. And last match was winnable if I just played better. So that's just what I've got to do. Like most of the Isons are what I expected. Like, I... I, I, I assumed there would be a Chuffle Berry, I was just hoping for it not to be. But there was, <laughs> which was annoying. <laughs> but that's exactly what, it, what it's for, isn't it? So... Okay, Thunderous. And Urshifu. That doesn't help my Weavile now, does it? But I've got to worry about the fake out, even though I don't have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, this makes me cringe. I'm going to not even wide lens triple axle. And I'm going to... Dynamax Energy Ball. This has changed the plan completely. I don't like this. I don't like this. Like, I'm just throwing my, away my Weavile once again. But I've got to fear the fake out, right? They feared the fake out. They feared the fake out, and that Nido King is taking a huge amount. Just please, Weavile. Please, please. Even if it's Yachi, it only works on the first one. Come on, Weavile. This is your moment. I hate this so much. 72%. Come on. 72% to hit all three. And that should be enough to KO the Thunderous. Come on, Weavile. You can do this. You know you've got this. Just get rid of the airstream. Turn one. Kartana will sweep. Just do it. Do it, 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 do it. Weavile. Weavile. Oh my god. Oh, that is so bad. At least Weavile's still alive, but that is so bad. Oh, not even the first one. Come on. At least this does a lot. Ah, so, so unfortunate. Oh dear. And that's why I don't trust it without wide lens. Like, not even the 90%. Oh, uh, got the play. I just said I needed to play better, and I got the play. And then, oh, triple axel sucks so much. What can I even do now? Switch into Togepi. At least I can KO the Nido King. They'll use that on my Shuckleberry. Oh, that's so bad. Because that's an Oko. With the Life Orb, it's an Oko on Thunderous. Assuming they're no bulk. Like, they've got to be outspeed Kartana, which means that they won't have much bulk. Maybe they EV to live. But then they'd have been on no HP. That sucks. That's not the way you want the final to go. I could have maxed Hailstorms, but then just next turn I get... Alright, fair enough. Um... Hmm. There's a Knuckle at least, so... Bit annoying, because they're pretty strong now. Crit! Nice and crit! Not quite, and wouldn't have mattered. What do I do now? Gotta be lightning and protect, right? Into the thunderous and two shot the thunderous. But I haven't got a beast boost this time, so it won't two shot. Um, that doesn't even work. And they've got the airstream on the needle thing at this point, so that doesn't help.
Do I KO the Nido King? At least they will only have one Pokemon with a speed boost. Yeah. Yeah, because then I keep the Togepi at least. Does this work? I don't think this still works. Especially because they're knuckling over. Thunderous is going to be too strong. Oh, I should have yawned. Should have yawned, I guess. This is going to be our power into the circuitry. Oh, Sludge Mold, yeah, makes sense. Should have yawned. Yawn was a way back, but I didn't take it. Togepi is now pretty bulky, like, because it's not going to take a max move or a sludge bomb anymore. Hooray. Back to full HP. Alright, alright, not even, so. <laughs> um, what what do I do now? Like, what how, can I even beat Thunderous? Because it just outspeeds my Weavile. I need Togepi next to... And they still got Mammoth Swine. Um, I've still got my Sash, at least, on the Kartana that can do something. Um, Energy Ball would bring their Thunderous down to the Sash, but I would need to follow me in order for that to be able to happen. Um, wild Charge, no, no, Wild Charge can't KO Togepi this turn. If I follow me, then Togepi will sacrifice itself, and I'll get them on the Sash with the Mammoth Swine. Does that help? I don't think that helps. Because I need Togepi next to Weavile. Else they just superpower my Weavile and I can't beat the Thunderous anymore. No, I need it next to Thunderous. Like, we're living. We're living the double up because they went for Ice Crisp and you get two. Yes, no? Because if, if I lose Zerkatry here, if they attack Zerkatry, if they attack Zerkatry, they attack Zerkatry, oh! Is this now possible? I have Weavile next to Togepi. Is this suddenly now possible? If I just hit that goddamn Triple Axel. Um... Is it better to double protect and go into Kartana? Like, double protect and go Kartana? Maybe. Maybe. Is that better? Uh, Weavile is gonna miss. And they've got the potential to switch out into the Urshifu on the ice move. Do I Psycho Cut with Helping Hand in that case? As a baller play. Because um, if they stay in, they'll go to sleep. And then Kartana may be able to do something. Um... It's Kartana instead. I can double protect, and if they switch into Urshifu, at least they lose. They'll lose the speed boost on the Thunderous, and I will be able to get. Oh, I'm running out of time. Um... This is the Zaver option, the Helping Hand Psycho Cut would have been absolute, absolute god tier, um, and may have been what was necessary to come back in this match. Kartana might not be the one. Is this to switch out into Urshifu? Um, so follow me. Follow me and Leaf Blade the um, Thunderous. No, no, follow me and attack the Mammoth Swine. Because that way I keep my Sash. Yeah, they did switch. Oh, they protect as well. That's still okay, somewhat. Because we've got Grass to Terrain, that Urshifu's being KO'd. Like, I, I've had opportunities, and Helping Hand Psycho Cut would have been awesome. Can you imagine that Helping Hand Psycho Cut? Yeah, that was a, a good lead played into the Urshifu potential right there. That I have not taken. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 
Um, still okay, still okay. This is a helping hand and leaf blade instead. Um, they switch back into Thunderous. Awkward. Because this won't KO. Actually, no, not awkward at all. Because then I get Weavile, ne Weavile and Cartana to be able to KO them. And I'll keep my Sash as well. This is still okay. Maybe. So they lose Urshifu. Do I lose Togepi or Cartana this turn? Oh! Oh, they U-turn Togepi! They could have broken my Sash! Oh. I mean, I need to attack the Mammoth Swine there. If I'd have attacked the Mammoth Swine, then I get guaranteed Leap Lake. So I, again, I've made the incorrect play. Unless this crits. Cartana! Let's go! Oh. Oh, that might be a crit. That equalizes... That wide, that not wide ends, the triple axel. That absolutely equalizes the triple axel. So that was a 12% chance. Alright, so. I've got a beast boost. Urshfu gets KO'd. I've got my focus sash. They could have ice shard. Ice Shard would be the way I lose this now. They have not broken my Focus Sash. They surely don't expect my Weavile to be able to KO their uh, Mammoth Swine. Doesn't matter, they'll be able to close combat through my Protect anyway. So I lose the Ice Shard regardless. No, I lose close combat. They just have to not have Ice Shard. Or not Ice Shard my Cartana. Like, regardless of what happens. If I protect, doesn't matter. They close combat through it anyway. So that doesn't help. So I'm going to low kick. Like, I have to do this. If they Ice Shard, they win. They did not Ice Shard. So I think I win instead. In fact, I know I win. This is a double KO. So, um... Right, somehow, somehow, after that turn one, somehow, we're in a game three. Right. So, what do I do now? Um, it's pretty clutch crit, but kind of equals out the triple axe in this. Um, I guess that's 28% and that was 12%, so slightly in my favor, but there we go. Alright, um, at least this is a cool final, yeah, and at least I took a game. Um, alright, what do I do now? Um, I think it's still the same four. Do they go back to Sack Attack or do I go back to my Weavile leads? If I lead Weavile, it has to be next to Togepi. He says, as the uh, should be switched out turn one. Um, so if, they, if they don't lead that stack attacker, these are fine. <sighs> Marowak sucks here. Dragonite is not great here. Bring those same four. Don't bring Stack Attacker. I can just follow me and Hailstorm, not the Urshifu. The entire match I'll be able to do that. Like the three turns I'll be able to do that pretty much. So don't bring the Stack Attacker. So no, they have Ice Shard. If they had Ice Shard, they had a, a guaranteed win. But Alas. Don't bring 
bring stack attacker, don't bring stack attacker, don't bring stack attacker. I've got no Zapdos, even though you've got no chop, got chop berry. Please don't bring stack attacker. Alright. So I get to follow me in Hailstorm. That's lot for the entire game, right? The entire game. They're looking surging strikes, Weavile is freed up. Like, come on. That's the play, right? Because I can't let them get an airstream. I could mindstorm into the Urshu and get the KO, but I can't let them airstream. It has to be this, right? It could still be Triple Axel, but no. No way am I relying on that anymore. It's just this. Don't switch into Stack Attacker. Lock-in's close combat, please. Thank you kindly. I wonder what the last one is. You turn close combat surgery strikes, maybe I have Like, fair enough, fair enough. This could have been the greatest mindstorm in the world. And it still can be. But then Mammoth Swine's down to a Sash. Annoyingly, it keeps it, even though the Hailstorm. You turn into something, please. You turn would be the best player in the world. Alright, come on, Togepi. Eat this move. Should be Surgeon Strikes. It's close combat! Oh. Oh. Oh, it's good. This is good. Let's go, Weaver. is very suddenly, very suddenly, quite far in my favour. Oh, oh, oh. That was a good turn one. That was a good turn one. Right. Got guarantee KO into the Mammoth Swine. Do I just keep following me? Do I Mindstorm? Slash Knuckle, the Urshifu. Could be Hailstorm. Could still be Hailstorm. Do I have time to calc? I have no time to calc. Um, Mindstorm will still do a lot to whatever switches in. So I could Knuckle the Mammoth Swine at this point. I'm gonna just Knuckle and follow me. Could have hailstorms, yeah. Hailstorm would be very good. So I still can hailstorm that slot. They did have ice shard. They had ice shard. Hailstorm into the Urshifu slot was like an immediate win. So that was on me, but I'm still okay. Still okay. They go into Urshifu here, that means they're gonna switch out the Thunderous. So I'm gonna Hailstorm, not Hailstorm, I'm gonna Mindstorm the Urshifu. Because they've gotta switch out the Thunderous, sack whatever's ever in the back as they KO the Togepi, so that they can close combat KO the... Um, I've got time. I can count. Why isn't Togepi set to EVO like? Wasting extra seconds. It's gotta be switch up under us, right? Sack the Pokemon in the back, be able to close combat the... It's close combat even... It doesn't even KO, right? With the hail, that wouldn't KO. Don't have to rely on the Drip Axel. 
And if they close combat, then Cartana just takes them out. No, it's, it's, it's Hailstorm into Thunderous. That slot gets KOs, especially because I've knuckled and it's Follow Me. This Max Urshifu. This might be Max Urshifu. Don't you dare be Yachi Berry. Oh my god, if you are Yachi Berry, I'm gonna be so mad. Let's go Togepi. If you see a close combat, I might survive the turn with Togepi. It's a poison jab. That was the last move. They can't touch Cartana at the moment. No Yachi Berry. No Yachi Berry. That's a Yachi Berry. Oh. I got a Knuckle Boost at least. Oh, that's so much damage. I knocked him to Poison Jab. Helping Hound would have been amazing. Do they die in one Hail Trick? They do. I think. Alright, so. Um, Helping Hound would have won. Um, I locked in Poison Jab. Cartana gets KO'd because they've got a Knuckle Boost now. That should be able to KO me. Um, bring me down to my Focus Sash. How many turns of Hail are left? Enough. Like, like my Sash is gone. Um, protecting is pointless with Cartana because my Sash will go, they'll be able to Knuckle. Um, like I double the Urshifu, right? I double the Urshifu. Because they'll get KO to, like, yeah, yeah, I I'm pretty sure I do. No, the Nido King still wins, doesn't it? The Nido King still wins. No, no, the Nido King still wins. And then the Urshifu would win if we switch out. Would it? No, 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 it is double. It's double the Urshifu. Is it sub? No, it's double the Urshifu. Nido King should be KO'd to Leaf Blade and Energy Ball. And Thunderous should go down to one hail. Oh, this Nido King. This combination should be enough. This is surely enough. If this KO's the Nido King, I win, I think. This actually should be able to survive. And it definitely Oko's Urshifu. Just please be in range. Be in range, Thunderous, of the of the hail. That's so in yeah, that's KO'd. I'm going much defense on this uh, Zerk tree, but surely, surely, just be in range. Be in range, Thunderous. It's so close, be in range. Because my Kartana, I lose with Kartana. Just be in range. Yes, yes, just don't crit me. Don't crit me with close combat. Certain strike surely is not enough. All right, it's Zerk tree versus Urshifu. Just don't crit close combat. They don't even have a rock slide or anything like to be able to do that. Like, surely. I'm max HP. I've taken some chip. I've got no not much defense, but surely not. Surely not. Come on, Zerk Tree. Just don't get crit. I win this 23 out of 24 of the time, right? Because surging strikes is not enough. Come on. Let's go! Let's go! They even nerfed me by giving me all the scraps.
Everyone had picked their team. I had to take from the remnants. And I am the XDL champion. Let's go. Oh, that was a great final. Oh, I am very, very happy. <sighs> great run from Eddie. Very pleased he was the person I faced in the final. But it's my championship. Ooh, that feels good. That feels good. And that was a great set as well. Awesome. And that is why I'm pretty good at draw VGC.